Hi all. Today let's talk about uh, date functions in SQL Server. Uh, there are a couple of date functions in SQL Server. First one is date part, date add, date difference. So the first one is a date part. So it is used to return particular part of a date or time in the date time. So if you want to get the particular year from a date, so you can get it through a date part. So if you want a month, if you want a day, if you want an hour, if you want a minute or a week, weekday, day of a year, hour, minute, including nanoseconds also, you'll be able to get with the help of the date part function in SQL Server 2012. The syntax is date part of date part comma date time. So here date part is the part of the date time. What part you want from the entire date time. So if you want year, you need to mention that year syntax year. If you want a month, you need to put some month related part here. If you want a milliseconds, you need to put milliseconds kind of stuff in the syntax. So finally, date part is the one which will help us to get date or time from the date time column. So you can get year, month, day or whatever, including milliseconds. So let me show you practically how to write a syntax, how to execute the date part function in the SQL Server. So let me go to the SQL Server. So in that, see, so in the first line, I am planning to get the year of the current year only. Okay. So we all know. So get date is the function which will help us to get the today's, today's date and time. So when I get date part with the year, so I will be getting only year. So now the year is 2017. I am not getting entire date time. So let me show you. If I run uh, get date. So what I'll be getting, so I'll be getting entire date and time. So, but if I run only the date part function with year, I'll be getting only year. So now let me go and see how to get the particular quarter. So what is the quarter means year contains four quarters. So if I run this syntax, I'll be getting only the quarter number. So let me run that. So here you will be getting third quarter. If you see. The current as per the date, the month is 7th. 7th is nothing but a third quarter. So now the quarter runs. See, so year runs from nine, around 1753 to 9999. So when you go to quarter, quarter runs from 1 to 4. If you are in the January, then you will be getting 1. If you are in the December, that quarter value will be getting 4. So let me go to the month rank. So now the month values runs from 1 to 12 starting January to December. So if you are if you are in the January month and you are running for this particular date part syntax, then you will get one. If you are running in the December month, you will be getting 12. So let me show you that query as well. So let me run this way. So here the current month is 7. So now I am getting by using mm. Now next one is week. So what is the week number? So we all know we have 53 weeks in the year. So it's starting from 1 to 53. If you are in the first week of January, then you will get one. If you are in the last week of December, you will get 53. Okay. So now let me run that part. Okay. So now we are in the 30th week. Okay. So that will, that WK will help us to get the week. So now weekday. So let us say we are in today as Thursday. So this weekday help us to get the week day number. Now, so it's starting from 1 to 7. Now we are in the Thursday, we'll get the Thursday number. So let me run this. Yeah, Thursday number is 5 starting from Sunday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday 5. Now let me run the day of the year. So we all know year having so 366 days starting from 1. So let me run what is the day of the year. If you see here, now we are in the 208th day. Okay. Next. Date. So it, it, it gives you the 
current day in a particular month current day in the particular month so what is the date today that date you will get here the date number you will get here now what is the hour so hs belongs to hour so mm mi n belongs to minute okay so let me show you so what is the time now 11 so it, it gives you only hour i am not running i am i'm not running for minute or seconds that's the reason why i'm getting only hour so now let, i want to say either it is am or pm so let me run i have a one more statement to say it's a am or pm i have a i'm using case statement we'll talk about in, uh, in different video about case and all but let me show you this yeah so because of the 11 now we are in the 11th time 11 tower so that is the reason why it is showing as a am 11 am now if you want to see the minutes let me see 50 11 52 our time is if you see here 11 52 am here okay next one what are the seconds okay 41 second 41 second now okay millisecond 657 millisecond microseconds and nanoseconds so this date part finally date part will help us to help us to get the specific part of a date or time starting from year to ending with a nanoseconds see these are all the ranging values milliseconds is starting with 0 and ending with 99 second is starting with 0 and ending with 59 minute also starting with 0 and ending with 59 and hour is going to start with 0 and ending with 23 so like this for each and every value having range values so these are all the syntaxes we all ran on the sql server so let me run all together yeah see these are all the values i will be getting starting from year to nanoseconds so this is how we can use the date part in the sql server that is very important in the real time next date add next one is a date add this is also very important in the real lifetime so this date add will help us to add or subtract specified interval from a date let us say if you want to add two days from today date okay if you want to add two days to a today date so now today date is 27 so 27 plus two days 29 or if you want to remove or if you want to subtract one day from today date so 27 minus 1 26 so that time so date add function will help us to add or subtract specified interval of time to a given date syntax is date add and date part so what part do you want to add month year or seconds or milliseconds so number how many minutes or how many days or how many years you want to add or subtract and what is the date this is a date is a column it is a column so now these are all the values are applicable in the date part so year quarter month week weekday everything is applicable in the date part here okay so let me show you practically how to use a date add in the sql server so let me go there yeah here first let me show you the date so what is the get date so the get date is today's date is 2017 7 27 11 55 15 987 milliseconds now i want to add one day to the today's date so write the same way date add and if you want to add a date dd and how many days you want to add one okay and so get date so let me run this okay yeah yeah today date is 2017 727 but with the date add i am getting date is 28 you can clearly see the difference between these okay now i want to add one month so i want to add month to the current month so syntax is date add mm comma one comma get date so let me show you the difference okay so 27 727 but here 728 because the first uh, this is a date i am adding next one is month i am adding now we are in the eight means like with the help of the date add i am showing eighth month now in the last statement i am planning to add year okay syntax in the similar way date add year y y comma one comma get date now let me show you the difference see if you see here this is the current date or today's date here this is a one day add to the date 
year one month ad, year one year ad. You can see the 2018. So till now we have seen how to add the dates. Now how to subtract? How to subtract? Subtract also in the similar way, but we need to specify that number with a negative sign. Negative number with a negative sign. Let me run this. Yeah. So I am I am subtracting one day to the current date. So current date is 27, but when I use a minus one, it is showing 26. Now I am putting minus one month. Let me run this. Yeah, it is showing sixth month, even though it is seventh month because of date add subtraction. Now let me put date add year minus. So it is showing 2016, even though current year is 2017 because of a date add minus one, it is showing 2016. Let me run all these three together. Yeah. So this is yesterday date, last month date and last year date. So this is how date add is going to work in the SQL server. So again, I'm repeating this date part. It's a date add work for, works for all these date parts, all these date parts. So you can apply simply these abbreviations in the date add. So next one is very important one, date difference. So date difference is a function in the SQL server which helps to calculate the difference between two date fields. Two date fields based on the interval provided. Again here date part is required. So in the date add and date diff we need a date part. So the syntax is date difference of date part either year, month, seconds, milliseconds whatever it is comma start date comma end date. Okay, so now, so I want to calculate a particular person age. Okay, so now I want to calculate a particular person age by using date difference. So now let me go here. So here I just declared one variable and assigned today's date by using get date. And I created and declared one more variable to say it is a date of birth. Now I want to see what is the difference between today's date and the date of birth date. So I am using date difference, comma year I am putting, comma start date is a date of birth, end date is a today's date. So let me run this, when I run this, so here I am getting the particular person is 29, particular person is 29 in the year, in the year. So I want to show you one more example, one more, so real example. So I have a company employee table under human resources schema, okay. So I want to identify what is his experience in the current company. I want to identify what is the employee experience in the current company in terms of years, in terms of months, in terms of days, in terms of days. Now in the similar way, so the person ID number and what is his title and what is his hire date is nothing but employee join date and experience till date. So in the similar way, date difference, YY comma, hire date comma, get date. So MM, I want to identify the how many months of experience he has in the current company. MM comma, I date comma, get date. Next. So date difference comma, I want to see the experience in the days as well. So DD comma, I date comma, get date. So this is, this is a simple select statement. So let me run this query. Okay. So the particular national ID number is uh, this. Employee number is this and his job title is Chief Executive Officer. Hire date is 2003 and his experience is 14 years. Experience in months is 173 months and experience is days is 5276 days of experience he has till today in the current company. In the similar way, let's take second employee, Vice President of Engineering. His join date is 2002, March start. Experience is 15 years. Months is 184 months. Experience in days is 5,625 days. In the similar way, you can see all the employees, hire dates and experience in years and experience in months and experience in days. So this is how we can use the date difference function. So the date difference function is also very important in the real applications. So these are all the date functions are important. Thank you. So if you like our videos, give a feedback and subscribe.